Can't love with Pat's two cents. You know, some of us think in this society that the rich get over all the time, that the powers that be, that run the world, that run the earth, that run the finances, the banking systems, all of that, they get over like a fat rat, seemingly, correct? Some of you have relatives that are incarcerated. Some of you have been incarcerated and some of you are incarcerated right now. And some of you have been falsely accused, falsely sentenced, falsely convicted. But God knows. So whatever you do, and it may be difficult, but trust that God has a reason for every season in your life. And there is a purpose for everything under the sun. And even when it looks like the powers that be are getting over on you, when it looks like you're being cheated out of your inheritance, when it looks like you're getting the crappy end of the stick, trust that God has got a reward for you that every one of your enemies will have to watch as you get blessed at the end. You know, when we talk about having the last laugh, God's going to have the last laugh, and he's going to make sure you're laughing with him. So don't feel abandoned. Don't feel betrayed. Not by God. People, yes, but not God. And whatever you do, forgive anyway, because God's sub he's got something up his sleeve for you that nobody knows about. While they think they got you under their foot, huh? Yeah, God's got their number. And he's got a little something, something for them that their behinds will never be able to pay for. And it's going to hurt throughout eternity. Now listen to this. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them, not the rest, the rust of them, shall be a witness against you, <clears throat> and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborer who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth. And the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just and he doth not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brethren. Now, these are for you who have been victimized by the system. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth and hath long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient, Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Mm. Pat's two cents. Listen, God knows what you have gone through. God knows how your children have been cheated because you have been placed in a position of helplessness where nobody is speaking up for you. You have no voice, but you have a God. And yes, it may seem really uh, messed up right now. It may seem very painful and, and that you may feel powerless and it may seem like you're, you're being buried under the jail and you may be buried under your circumstances and under your problems. And it just seems like everybody else has the upper hand and, and the devil is accomplishing all he wanted to do against you and against your family and all of that. But guess what? I don't care how many curses you have a list of, how many things are coming against you. God gets the last word. God is in control. God has not forgotten 
your labor of love. God has not turned a blind eye to the victims, to you who have nobody to fight for you. See, right now, we're living on this cursed, cursed planet. We're living in a planet that's run and ruled by the devil, but God is still in control. And he allows the devil just enough rope to hang himself because when the end comes, when judgment day comes, baby, you're going to get your reward. And everybody that played against you, they're going to see it. See, God says in his word, touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. And many of you have been done harm. God knows and he sees. He sees and he knows. And he's not bad at math. He knows how to add and subtract. He knows how to multiply and divide. And God will have a reward for you. And there will be judgment day for the powers that be. I mean, from the top dollar to the bottom dollar. God's got payday. When payday comes, you get paid and they end up paying through the nose for our, I mean, throughout eternity. So God says in his word, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. So let me caution you. Don't try to do payback. No, 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 no. Don't go there. You do the forgiving like Jesus forgave. You do the forgiving. Because God says to the merciful, see, when you forgive, that makes you a merciful person. When you don't backbite, when you don't retaliate, when you don't uh, uh, do things out of spite. You hear what I'm saying? Don't come back at somebody. Don't go tit for tat. They jack you up. You're going to jack them up. Don't even go there. Don't lower yourself to that. Because God says to the merciful, I will show myself merciful. To the pure, I will show myself pure. But see, then those people over there that jacked you up, they're the froward. And God said to the froward, I will show myself froward. You keep your hands off of it. You keep your mouth clean. You keep your thoughts in your heart. Drenched in the living water of God. Let him rinse you. Let him wash you. Let him refresh you. Let him strengthen you on the inner man. You go to God for your inner healing. You go to God to remove the hurts. You go to God for your peace. You go to God for everything. Because even though you may not see the answer right now, he has not forgotten you. When you may have just given up on your dreams, your hopes, your wishes, what you couldn't do here, oh baby, it's going to be something else when you get there. But you've got to keep your heart pure. You've got to keep your spirit clean. Don't get full of resentment. Psalms 37. I got to read that. That just popped in my head. Mm, mm, mm. Listen to this, you guys. Listen. Before I read this scripture, I want to say this. This is what I see coming. I believe there's coming a day when the poor, the needy, the cheated, those that have been ripped off, those that, that have been stolen from, those that have been falsely accused and sentenced, those have been unduly punished so that others could step on top of them and get their gold and their goodies at their expense. God is getting ready to flip the coin. He's getting ready to flip the whole picture, flip the stage. And when he flips things on upside down, I believe this country is going to feel it. But when this country suffers loss, I do believe while we are still here in the land of the living, God is going to vindicate his people. God is going to 
create ways where there are no ways for them to prosper. For them, when God says in famine, you shall be satisfied. That doesn't mean you barely getting by. <clears throat> Satisfaction means I'm cool. I'm good. Okay. The ones that are going to suffer, you will get to see. You're not to celebrate it. You're to pray for their salvation, but you will get to see the vengeance of the Lord. Now, this is what I want to I want to read to you. <clears throat> the word says it all by itself. Psalms 37, verses 1 through 19. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto him. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in the way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evil doers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Fret, listen, for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, hmm, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked it plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and had bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Let me stop there real quick. You look at how many people get rich off of human trafficking. How many people have gotten rich off of the liquor stores that they planted in the poor neighborhoods? Yeah, in the black and brown neighborhoods. Look at all the dope they infiltrated all the little neighborhoods with in order to get people in bondage to so they could pack their pockets and get rich off of blood money. Look at the prostitution rings. Look at all of that. Look at the guns they have sewn into the, <clears throat> they have uh, sold into the neighborhoods so that they can encourage violence. Because in their mind, oh, let the little people just kill themselves and we won't have to do it. <laughs> That's their attitude. But see, God sees and he knows. Mm -hmm. So trust me, while God's doing his math and he's tallying up his books, whoa, there's going to be a bloodbath. And I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I do believe, help me, Lord, as I say this. I do believe that if a crisis hits this country, the main ones it's going to hurt will be the rich that got their riches by ill gains. Um, I'm not saying it correctly, but blood money. People who have gotten rich on other people's lives, on other people's deaths, on victimizing the helpless, the homeless, the poor the needy, victimizing them, stealing from them. See, I believe if something goes down in this country, something's going to happen where we are going to witness the poor, the nobodies of society, the little people, 
oh, they're going to be the ones that are going to really make it. They're going to make it well, especially if their hearts are right with God. God is going to lead them by the hand, baby. He's going to lead them by water brooks. He's going to lead them where there are countries. I mean, not countries. I mean, country areas, rural areas. He's going to lead them to abandon mansions and homes that they didn't have to pay for. He's going to lead them to places where they'll live sweet while the rich are committing suicide and killing each other off and running and absconding to other absconding to other countries, trying to get away with crimes. They know they're getting ready to pay for finally. I'm telling you something. I believe God's going to really do something to teach the world. You don't mess with my people. You don't mess with my poor, with my helpless. You don't do this. Now, I've let you get away with it for so long, but there's coming a day. I'm going to flip you upside down. And when I hang you upside down, your, your underwear is going to show to the public. Everybody's going to know your mess. But while you're being exposed and while you're paying through the nose, I'm going to bless my babies. I'm going to bless my babies that you have messed over. I'm going to get those out of prison. Some of them, I'm going to let them go on and pass away because they will pass on into my presence. And I've got some major rewards for those that have kept a pure heart through their punishments, their undue punishments, have kept a pure heart in spite of how badly they were treated. I got some big rewards for them. There are inmates that my heart cries out for. And you have laughed at them because they couldn't afford an attorney like you can. But they've got the great attorney here. I'm talking for God. God is going to vindicate his people. Every one of you who have done time, who are doing time, who think that God is not even thinking about you, who think that you're the dregs of society. You're not. Some of you are princes in God's eyes. And God is going to pull you out. And when he pulls you out, baby, he's going to do you right. He's going to make up for all that the people have done to you. Because he loves you. And I'm going to stop before I get too emotional. I'm going to finish reading this scripture. Mm. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. Think about that. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. God bless you as you continue trusting in God's love for you. God knows how to flip the stage, baby. He knows how to flip the script. And everything that people have played games, all these laws and all of these cartels and all of these these political games people have played at your expense. God, mm, mm, mm. God's going to right the wrongs. And when God rights the wrong, you'll get to see it because you'll get to benefit from it. Go on and cry out to the Lord now. Ask him to heal you and re remove your anger because your spirit has to be right. Even if your situation hasn't changed, God can enable your attitude to do so, to line up with his. He can flood your heart with love, even for those that hate you. 
he can flood your heart with love. Let him come inside of you. Let him rest, rule, and abide. And then give him total control over your life. And watch him work one way or the other, in the here and now or in the sweet by and by. You're going to get a reward that you never saw coming. And it will be glorious for you. And many of you will see it right here in the land of the living. You'll get yours. You'll be blessed. God will bless your socks off. Mm. God bless you and be encouraged. Look up for your redemption draweth nigh.